Abednego says that the human being does not know the power of his mind. Hashem created the human mind with such hidden powers that a person can perform what we might consider, we might deem as miracle powers, miracle acts. For example, a person by concentrating deeply on something which is completely remote, unrelated to himself. Say, for example, stocks, the stock market. He'd like to have a stock rise, go up in price, to make sort of a killing of the market. How can he do it without contacting a broker, without performing any physical act whatsoever? He goes into a sort of trance. We don't mean that literally. If he goes into a deep concentration, and he centers his mind completely on this thought that the price of this stock should rise. And with that concentration, undisturbed by any outside force whatsoever, if the concentration is a perfect one, it is possible for a person to even have the stock price go up. This is a, a unusual case. There are much simpler cases that we could point out to. Abedazal brings elsewhere that a person can stand in front of a firing squad. How do you employ mental telepathy to something which is not alive. Firing squads stand there with rifles. The person could stand looking at that rifle and will the rifle not to shoot. Now this sounds fictitious. Has shown it is not. It is absolute fact. Menendez says that the human being does have such mental powers if he would only employ it. The person would practice, would exercise his mind. Exercise his mind to the highest capability of concentration. This must be pure concentration. He can actually dictate to a gun not to fire. And so many other phases, many other fields, this can be done because of the power of the mentality, the mental powers of a human being. Then it says this sounds simple. <clears throat> sounds very easy because this means that a person can say, in that case, I now control the world with my mind. My mind is such that I can control the entire world. He forgets that his is not the only mind in the world. Many minds working in different directions and that clash. That's first of all. Secondly, especially if a person's mind is that weak, that he cannot concentrate his mind fully, and surely it is not effective at all. For example, you want to concentrate completely. That means you have no outside thought on an item like the stock market. How about concentrating on something much more important? Speaking to Hashem, could you concentrate for three or four minutes, or five minutes, as long as it takes you to say the Shmon Esrei, the Yadavani, Shachmas, Minchamarev, concentrate for those few minutes, a very short period of time, without allowing any thought whatsoever to penetrate your mind during the time you're commuting, speaking to Hashem. And a person who is truthful, who is honest, will admit that he could not recall one single tefillah where he honestly had no outside thought, even for a fleeting moment. His mind really concentrated on this tefillah. 